This particular race is part of a national series, and this is the fourth race in the series. We have two to go, one back east and one in Brianhead, where we will uh, crown the uh, series champion. So it's significant enough because they need points to stay in the hunt for the uh, title for, for the national mountain bike series. Final call to staging, all pro women should be staged. <laughs> Well, we go up the road, we go right up Little Stick during the start of the race as opposed to jumping on the trail right, in, right by Black Diamond there. Gives the uh, athletes, and the, particularly in the pro field, an opportunity to spread out before they dive into the single track on pipeline. We've always seen great men's cross country, as well as women's cross country racing here. Uh, I think because they get a lot of the climbing over early, and then the course is, flows well enough they can stay close. So you'll probably see a major attack at the end of the race uh, to see if they can gain some separation. But overall, this is a, a fun course for the men. I think they, they enjoy it a lot, and it races really well. So it should be a good uh, afternoon of racing today. Here you go, Ross. Ready to go, Sam. Looking good. The women are typically on this course about five minutes slower a lap. Uh, doesn't mean they're going slow, but uh, they, they, they're about five minutes slower a lap. So the men's race, also there's more men in the race. So the start of the race is potentially more hazardous because of the number of men. Uh, the crowd is Jim. is celebrating the race. He's so stunning. Oh, Well, we did three laps out here in Deer Valley. Yeah. The, the course is beautiful, and uh, you know I've I've raced here many times before, so I, I knew the course really well. Uh, I like it a lot, and my strategy was not to start super fast on the first lap, just kind of uh, you know stay up front, but don't kill my not to kill myself, and then uh, just go for it last two laps, and uh, it worked out perfect. <laughs> You know, my season started off really well and I was really excited about it and we're getting more into the XC and there was things I had to work on and I've been learning slowly, you know, being outside of the endurance realm. And I wasn't sure how this race was going to turn out, but when I came, you know, my legs felt great today, you know, so I, I'm really confident with the training I've been doing and the really important races are coming up and this is a good confidence booster to go into the major events so I'm hoping for a solid rest of the season there's a couple of goals that I really want to attain and hopefully it goes the way I want <laughs> <laughs> I've always come close in the last couple of years. I've one year I flatted within a half mile of the finish and didn't win, you know. And so ever since then, I think I've been kind of jinxed. And uh, to finally win one this year is pretty nice. So. Way to go, Ryan! Nobody in sight. Uh, you know, I was feeling better on the climbs, and uh, I tried to go on the first one. And Jeremiah was able to stay with me, and I was thinking, oh man, I don't think I'm going to win this one today. Second climb, I just kind of kept a real hard tempo and was able to get a gap and just open it up the whole way up to the top, and then just kind of nursed it on the way down. Yeah, I didn't really feel the uh, elevation until, you know, lap three when I started to feel some cramps. And then I was kind of fighting the cramps a little bit on lap four. Um, but I started out hard. I, you know, got the whole shot for the trail here and, and you know, I felt the strength back that I have uh, you know, normally have. So uh, it's a good time of year for me. and. I figured I was going to go for it all out. Katharina Nash winning our pro women's cross country. Georgia Gould, Katherine Pendrell, Heather Erminger, and Pua Sawicki round out your top five pro women today. Good job, ladies. I was going to say, you got a movie over there, Ryan. Way to go. One more time, please.
Jim Lewis, your top five throw man. That was quite a show. Honestly, that was one of the best cross country races we've had this summer. Carl Decker, Andy Schultz, first time ever on a North podium. Jeff Kabush, Jeremiah Bishop, and Ryan Trebon. Oh, <laughs>